So we're here at a quail farm in Lim Chukang, one of two quail farms in Singapore. And I'm going to take a step out of the hustle and bustle of city life and try my hand at a bit of farming. Come on, let's go! Lim Chukang is known for its cemeteries, but what many people aren't aware of is that it is also home to a cluster of farms that supply local produce to Singaporeans. One such farm is Lian Wa Hang Farm, a quail farm which used to allow farm tours right up to 2004, but had to stop following the bird flu scare. It was started by a familiar name on egg cartons, Mr. Ho Seng Chun, in 1954, and today, Lian Wa Hang Farm houses up to 150,000 quails at any one time, from breeders to layers. Mr. Ho's youngest son, William, has since taken over the business and now runs it together with his siblings. Hi, Hi William. Hello, how are you? Nice to meet you. Oh, wow. I'm all ready for farming. No, 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 you're not ready. No? we got inappropriate. Let's go and change to appropriate attire. Take it all. Yeah, take it all. Today, we'll be, uh, we'll be feeding the animals. Okay, after feeding the animals, we'll be collecting the, the quail eggs. After collecting the quail eggs, then we'll do some cleaning of the area. William took over the running of the farm in 1997, 10 years after refocusing the family business to concentrate on quail farming, which proved more profitable. And the quail, I found it wow, so productive. You're talking about one cycle is only 63 days. From the eggs to maturity to lay the first egg, it only takes 63 days. And it eat less, use less space, and then everything can use. That means from the egg, you, you can eat the meat and even the manure, the droppings, you can even use it for what? For fertilizer. Our first stop was the layers shed, where I got to feed the quails and collect eggs. Oh, this is heavy. Whoa. So roughly how heavy is this whole truck? Yes, it's good 200 kilo of food down here. The heavy truck aside, feeding the birds was quite a singe. Then comes the fun part, collecting the eggs. So when you collect, basically you can actually drag, then roughly about four eggs, then you put into one uh, square of this. Sounds easy enough, and the egg survived. But the next part was the toughest. Okay, then the next one we'll have to do a little bit of area cleaning so it looks better. Start so we're gonna sweep. Yep, we're gonna sweep the floor. According to William, demand for quail has been increasing and he makes a modest profit, not just from the eggs alone. At present moment, it's fantastic. It's, uh, in fact, I do not have enough to, to supply okay, for the quail eggs. The quail meat has slowly, slowly but surely uh, increasing in demand. And also, um, the quail meat, why it's so sellable now is because it's nice to eat, don't have the game smell because it's all grown here in Singapore and also uh, it's very nutritious and very uh, tonic, Chinese tonic property because it can help to nourish the lung. Not all the eggs are sold either. Some are put aside to be fertilized to hatch new quills. Okay, so right now William has brought us to the nursery where you have the chicks over on this side. How old are they? This is uh, roughly uh, about five days old chicks. After a few weeks, the chicks are sorted according to gender. As you can see here, these are mature quails and you can see the chest feather. If it's all brown like this here, this is a male quail. Whereas if there's a lot of black polka dots, this is a female quail. An alternative method of telling male from female is by checking out their rear. Or what William calls the backside theory. Apparently, hens have a broader behind. Sorry ladies. Next, we find out how precious black gold is and what exactly it is. 